The San Antonio Feral Cat Coalition is a nonprofit corporation formed to help people involved with managing feral, outdoor, free-roaming cats. SASCC uses TNR, Trap, Neuter, Return, to prevent cats from overpopulating neighborhoods, become diseased, or euthanized. You can learn more about TNR by attending a free two-hour SAFCC class. After this class, you can rent or buy your own trap. Catching a cat takes patience. The first step is to set up a trap close to the cat that needs to be fixed. Food, like tuna or chicken, will lure the cat into the cage. If the cat does not trust the trap, try camouflaging it. If there are more cats than just one in an area, it's a good idea to bring as many traps as there are cats. However, this is not always possible, so be prepared to work through the colony a few at a time. Never leave a set trap unattended. Plan ahead and make sure you have time to watch the trap. Once you trap a cat, cover the trap with a towel to prevent panic. Trapping is usually done the night before the surgery, so place the cat in a safe, temperature-controlled place overnight, like your bathroom or garage. There are several clinics in San Antonio that will spay and neuter cats at low cost. SNAP, Spay SA, the Animal Defense League, and the Humane Society are a few of these. After surgery, the cats typically recover in the trap 24 to 48 hours with occasional exceptions. If the cat is lethargic or ill, take the cat back to a vet to ensure that it is okay. Once the cat has healed, return it back to its area. Since cats are territorial, it is important to return them to curb the overpopulation of cats. The reason why trap neuter return works and trapping and removing the cats or trapping and killing the cats does not work is because of the territorial nature of the cat. The cat goes out and marks its surroundings and keeps other cats from other territories from moving in. If you remove those cats, don't take them back after they've been sterilized, then you are leaving that territory open and other cats will move in. They have not been sterilized or vaccinated and they, of course, will continue to have kittens. With your help, San Antonio can prevent thousands of cats from being euthanized and live a better life.